Hey, what's good? I'm professional trainer Coach Colin Castello with Shot Mechanics Basketball. And today, I'm going to give you three scoring bombs that are absolutely going to blow up your scoring average. Now I totally get it. Every player wants to score more points because having a higher scoring average is going to get you more playing time, get you more notoriety, and honestly, the game's just a lot more fun when you're scoring baskets. So today what I want to do is give you three tips to help you score more points the next time you step onto the court. But before we jump into it, I want to make sure we're getting your reps right. So if you click the top link in the description down below, I'm going to give you free instant access to my Insta Bucket Scoring Workout. This is a quick five-minute workout that I put together to help players increase their scoring average and really kind of help them get the right game reps so when they get into the game, they actually see results. So so click the top link in the description down below and get instant access now. All right, so the first most explosive tip that you can do to increase your scoring average is something very simple. And it's a concept that hardly any players use, but the players who do instantly score more points, and that's called mini goals. Now, what's great about mini goals is you don't have to do any training. You don't have to go to the gym. You don't have to do any ball handling drills. You don't have to get any shooting workouts. Just by setting mini goals, you're going to score more points in the game. Now, let me tell you what mini goals are. Mini goals are basically setting goals for yourself or micro goals inside of actual gameplay. Now, let me tell you what I'm talking about. Most players just kind of ebb and flow with the game, especially younger players, right? They just kind of go, if I get the ball, great. If I don't get the ball, what am I gonna do? One of the things I always hear in the comment section down below, and trust me, I'm keeping an eye on it, people say, hey, my teammates won't pass me the ball. How am I supposed to score, right? So they're being very passive on the court. We need you to be more aggressive on the court. So with mini goals, you're actually setting physical goals that you're trying to do in the game. So mini goals might look something like this. I might say, all right, if I'm not getting enough shots off, I'm gonna get up two threes every quarter, right? I'm gonna shoot two threes every quarter. That's one mini goal, right? And so if I'm doing that, that means I'm gonna shoot how many threes in a game? Two, four, six, eight, right? I'm gonna get up eight threes every game. So that allows me to make a couple of them, right? Two or three or four or five or however many. And so what happens a lot of times is if the players aren't thinking, I'm gonna get up eight threes in a game or two in a quarter, right? They don't really think about it. And then all of a sudden it's the fourth quarter and they've maybe shot one, they've maybe shot two. And so because they don't have that opportunity, they're not gonna be able to score as many points. Another great mini goal might be, I'm gonna get two feet into the paint at least three times every quarter. So maybe that means as I'm getting ready to attack, I'm gonna come in and try to get two feet into the paint every single time. Why would that be a good mini goal? Because most of the time, if you get two feet in the paint, good stuff happens. You might score more points there. You might get more dump offs to your big. You might get fouled more and go to the free throw line. All things helping your scoring average, right? So what you wanna think about is analyze your own game. Figure out what you're good at, figure out what you're not good at, and then really kind of tailor your mini goals around your strengths. If you're a good shooter, try to use mini goals to your shooting. If you're a good free throw shooter, try to use mini goals that are gonna get you to the free throw line. Again, what I would recommend is shooting, or you know, kind of setting probably three mini goals per game to start. That way they're you know, things that you can really think about, really tick, really check off the list, because the more mini goals you set, and if you can really you know, execute them in a game, I promise you, you're gonna score more points. I had a player who I worked with uh, last year, leading scorer in the state, he didn't have any mini goals. The second we instituted three mini goals, he increased his scoring average by seven points per game. Seven points per game, that's a lot, right? Just by thinking a little bit different. So set some mini goals, see if it'll help you out. All right, so the next thing to really help you score more points is what we call shift on catch. Now this is the very first thing I start working with my players every single time I work with a new client. And shift on the catch basically just means anytime we catch the ball from a reversal or a skip pass or whatever it is, we wanna move the defender as soon as the leather's touching our hands. Now there's a few different ways we can do this. We can jab step to move them, we can pump fake to move them, or we can pass fake to move them. Those are kind of the three big ones that you can do. You can jab, pump, pass fake. Now the reason why this is so important is think about if somebody's playing defense on you and you're catching the ball. They are the most vulnerable when they're closing out and still moving towards you, right? And so if I catch the ball and I just hold it for just like a half second or whatever, it allows them to set up, it allows them to close out, chop their feet, get in a good defensive position, and then they're a lot harder to go against because they're set, right? But if every single time I'm catching the ball and as soon as I'm catching, I'm fake pump faking, or I'm fake passing, or I'm jabbing, I'm making them slide, and then now all of a sudden, I'm at a massive advantage when I very first have touched the basketball. If you watch a lot of the great scorers, a lot of them are doing this every single time they touch the ball. They're fa pass faking, pump faking, jab stepping, getting that defender moving, because if you can shift them around, you got a moving defense, and a moving defense is an easy defense to beat, scoring more points. All right, the next goal that's gonna help you out is really simple as well, and I call it attack and react. Attack and react. The secret to great offense is putting pressure on the defense and then reacting to what they give you. One massive mistake that a lot of players make is they kind of predetermine what they're gonna do. They're gonna say, all right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna catch rip this time and I'm gonna try to go all the way to the hole. Right, so they'll catch rip and they'll go all the way to the hole and then their defender slides in front of them and take a charge and there's nothing to do about it because they're going to the hole strong, right? So what we wanna do is we wanna be aggressive out of the attack and then react to the, what the defense gives us. 
So anytime you catch the ball and we get them shifting, we want to attack downhill, get them moving, and then watch, watch, watch what the defense does. If they turn to run with you, boom, break it off into a step back, right? If they stay on your hip, throw a little hezzy, go to the rim, get yourself a layup or a bucket. The whole key here is we don't want to predetermine what we're going to do. You attack, react off to the defense, because that way they guess wrong every single time. And I promise you, if you add that to the other two tips I've given you in this video, you're going to score more points without doing any training, without doing any drills, none of that. If we can get your brain right and we can get that kind of basketball IQ up, you're going to score more points and turbocharge your scoring average. All right, don't forget, these are going to help your scoring average, but if you really want to take it to the next level, click the top link in the description down below and get free instant access to my Instant Buckets workout. Quick, five-minute, hard-hitting workout that's going to really help that in-game muscle memory so you can score more points and really become that dominant, lights-out offensive player that you've always wanted to be. And if you're new to Shot Mechanics, hit that like button, head to the comment section down below, let me know what sort of video you want to see next. We run pretty much everything off a request. And make sure you pound that subscription button because we put out four videos every single week and they're all going to get you better. I guarantee it. Again, I'm Coach Colin Castell with Shop Mechanics Basketball. Thanks for watching. Until next time, splash on.